I've been a Shires artist since 2013 when I joined the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra. You play on their instruments, you can tell right away that it's the highest quality craftsmanship you're going to find anywhere in the brass world. And not only that, they're just the nicest people I've ever come across. And it's such a pleasure to work with everybody there. I continue to play Shires because it's simply the greatest bass trombone I've ever used in my life. And now that I'm a tenor trombone player on tenor and bass, it carries my voice from my head out into the world so that I can share with everyone the sound that I want to sing with. You can find Shires at the Houghton Horns showroom in Keller, Texas. If you're not super close, you can go on their website, contact them through their social media pages, call them. Everyone that works there, all the staff, is just so happy to help you find the exact instrument that fits your needs. Would I ever consider another trombone? No way. I couldn't possibly imagine a better fit for me than this Shires bass. Etude number six out of the Gregoriev 24 studies for bass trombone, marked maestoso, is to be played assertively with a grandiose and pompous style. Be sure to use clear articulations with a bit of weight at the front of your notes to bring out the melody in a stately manner. As you work on this etude, form opinions about how you can use note shapes to help outline a dynamically interesting melody within each of your phrases. Try to avoid just playing each long note sustained and lacking dynamic motion. I like to start by defining where my phrases are, then pick a favorite note or two in each phrase and lead my listener to these important notes and then away from them. It is the way you outline these phrases and the climaxes of each phrase that form how your story will be told on this etude. Be sure to form a cohesive, melodic, and dynamic idea throughout the entire etude so you can present a well-prepared performance of this piece. Don't be afraid to be expressive on this one. From a technical standpoint, this is not a very demanding etude, but can become more difficult if you do not use conven convenient alternate positions. Be on the lookout for ways you can simplify your slide movements with well-placed alternate positions. Additionally, choosing the proper spots to breathe and what kind of breath you will take ahead of time will help simplify this etude and make it feel easier to perform. Try not to break up the music in the moving lines with big breaths. Instead, opt for smaller and more frequent sip breaths to keep the music moving and hide the breathing. When playing the quarter note lines, you will have time built into the style to take larger breaths. Most importantly, strive for as few mistakes as possible, but let your priority always be the music and the story you want to tell. Is it just me or does he sound out of tune? <laughs> so nice. I thought I was okay at trombone. Not anymore. Oh, give yourself some credit. I'm sure you're great. Why isn't he blinking? I'm not human. I don't have to blink. Okay, I have to blink now. That was really hard. I actually wrote that in there. Can you please? I, I don't care about wrong notes. Just remove all of my blinking. Best sound on bass trombone in the world. Fire, 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 hard eye, 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 hard eye. That sound, you hear that girl? You get a fat sound. 
Yeah. Thanks, Charles. Darth Vader. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> <laughs> that tone is to die for. Heart face emoji. Heart 